Hello. I'm lacking a strong father figure in my life. Unrelated to that, though, this is Tax Heaven 3000. Mischief's latest product and an unholy amalgamation of waifu bait dating sim and IRS probing software. Today we're going to explore what's inside this giant collector's edition box, explore the brief, albeit tumultuous, history of this little game, and maybe we'll even do some taxes. Let's get cracking. For those unaware, Mischief is the company, brand, collective, uh, group of degenerates behind some of the internet's favorite products as of late. Products that you think are fake until they're not, such as the Big Fruit Loop Chair Simulator, which is a game I streamed at twitch.tv slash kid before I even knew who or what Mischief was. Earn points to get chairs to sit, to earn points to get chairs to sit, to earn points to get chairs to sit. The Satan Shoes, filled with real human blood, and those big red rubber Astro Boy boots that you saw all over the internet a month or two back. Though they regularly release strange, funny, and experimental foods and products, I imagine it won't be long before Mischief is rebranded, or at least reinterpreted as some high-concept, high-fashion brand, and is thus made unavailable to hoi polloi such as ourselves. That being said, and though I have no real investment in them, check out their website or app and try to get in on a drop if you can. They offer some pretty cool shit sometimes. Speaking of drops, that brings us squarely back to this big friggin' cube. This is the collector's edition of Mischief Drop number 90, their latest creation, Tax Heaven 3000. Tax Heaven is a video game much in the style of a visual novel dating sim while also acting, at least in part, as tax software. More on that later. So, as with other mischief drops, Tax Heaven 3000 was listed on their homepage and their app for a March 31st release, which was later changed to April 4th to be less April Foolsy, with a link to its own official website. The game itself was announced as a free download, with a physical collector's edition to be released as well. This announcement was of course picked up by numerous news publications, and the game itself appeared on Steam, though it was not there for long. Novelty-themed dating sims are not new, whether it's dating tanks, insects, national parks, pigeons, whatever. Dating a girl who loves to do taxes is just another quirky and fun example, right? Wrong. Once people started, you know, actually reading the website and Steam page, it became clear that this girl, this game, wants to do your taxes for real. So, before we explore the contents of this box, let's take a look at Tax Heaven's official website and see what this deduction dame has to say for herself. Alright, so here is the Tax Heaven 3000 website. Up in the top banner here, you'll see the sort of tagline of the video game, Love and Taxes Forever in My Heart. And they say it again right down here. Up in the top corner, you see that Mischief logo, uh, the three exclamation marks in the circle, as well as Mischief Tax, sort of done in the style of Turbo Tax, a detail that will become relevant later. On the side here, you have some menu options, the Story, Gallery, Collector's Edition, Manifesto Characters, and Support. But obviously the main thing grabbing your eye is this giant picture of Iris, along with the Get the Game button. So once you click on that button, it actually brings you to the itch.io page for Tax Heaven 3000, which once you scroll through it, brings you to a list <laughs> which once you scroll down towards the bottom brings you to the actual free download links for Tax Heaven 3000 for both Windows and Mac. So returning to the main Tax Heaven 3000 page, let's go ahead and take a look at the story. Do your federal taxes while romancing your waifu. Tax Heaven 3000 is a one-of-a-kind dating sim experience that really does your federal taxes. Covers the 1040 U.S. Individual Income Tax Return. Checks eligibility for Earned Income Tax Credit, American Opportunity Credit, and more. Suitable for singles without dependents. I mean, you're letting an anime waifu help you do your taxes via dating sim. Of course your filing status is single. Additionally, the game appears to feature multiple endings, so that's pretty cool, I guess. 
Moving down to the gallery here, you get to watch the actual trailer for the game as an embedded video within the website itself. Uh, it's the same trailer that was available on Steam. So moving on from that, you can access the gallery, which has a few screenshots as well as some flavor text introducing you to the world of the game. Pretty standard fare for a video game website. The next section here is what brought us together today. The Tax Heaven 3000 Collector's Edition. It includes the Tax Heaven 3000 software box and instruction manual, a Tax Heaven 3000 installation disc and case, and of course, the Iris character body pillow. Unfortunately, this collector's edition is sold out, and yes, I contributed to that. You'll also notice over on the sidebar here that there is another Shop Now advertisement style button for the collector's edition, and once you click that, it actually just brings you to the section of the page where you can find the collector's edition purchase button. So the next section of the webpage is what they call the Manifesto. Let's go ahead and read through that together. Hi there, Iris here. It's always been a dream of mine to meet that special someone and file their tax return. Join me and we'll search for deductions while searching for love. You love it so far. But be careful, we're not alone. Corporate tax filing services like TurboTax are, by dint of extensive lobbying, predatory, parasitic bottlenecks that deliberately complicate the tax filing process in order to make it unnavigable by ordinary people. They feed us their poison so that we buy their medicine. God damn. They weren't kidding when they said manifesto. Uh, I get it, but it's a little heavy-handed, you know? Most wealthy countries make tax filing free if the burden of preparation is even passed along to individuals at all. Now that part's actually true. Uh, there are a lot of other countries, especially in Europe, apparently, uh, where taxes are either done automatically for you, or they are done free of charge by the government itself, uh, so that you don't really have to worry about them being done right, or including everything. What's funny about it is, theoretically, the government should already be aware of any of the relevant taxable income that you have. So that one meme about the IRS sending you to jail with a little frowny face, not entirely untrue. It's a frustrating process for Americans and in some cases can be very expensive. So it's kind of sad that we don't have that option, but hopefully soon. TurboTax actively seeks to backdoor the regulatory structure that could otherwise seek to rein it in. And it works! The villainous corporation that controls the government from the shadows is a sadly mundane reality. It's the most boring industry imaginable. TurboTax, per its own internal documents, is built on the fear, uncertainty, and doubt that ordinary people have about their taxes. Against this, we pit free software instead built on parasocial desire for intimacy and benign horniness. Great. If TurboTax is dark UI, Tax Heaven 3000 is pink UI, the night core of tax software. Video games are, at the end of the day, pieces of software ontologically akin to Microsoft Word. All of TurboTax's cutesy loading animations are fake graphics. Tax Heaven 3000 simply makes the fiction the point. For some reason, the game to real life interface has tended to remain in the purview of corporate metaverse fictions. Tax Heaven 3000 is a dongle that adapts from a visual novel to the IRS. Come on, let's get started. I can already tell I'm going to like you, heart. And remember, if you die in the game, you die in real life. If you file your taxes in the game, you file your taxes in real life. I suppose we'll see about that. Just below the manifesto in the next section, we have characters, and you'll notice that there are only two. The first is Iris. Get it? Do you get it? Do you get it? Do you get the joke? Yeah, you get it. Like the IRS. Yeah, I knew you got it. Iris, a delightful girl about town who knows a lot about income taxes. She may come off a bit naive at times, but she is sincere and earnest. Likes fancy stationery, caffeinated drinks, reading on the job, and tortoises. But you'll notice there's another character portrait lurking right next to her. And this character portrait belongs to Turbo. An unsavory sass, bro? Uh, I'm going to assume that this means software as a service. An unsavory software as a service, bro. Quick to anger and oddly fixated on Iris. He seems to be up to no good. Likes, corporate lobbying, confusing forms, dark UX, and fleece vests. I imagine we'll be seeing him in the game at some point, but 
For now, let's move on. What's really funny is that the last section on the sidebar here is for support, but whenever you try to click on it, it actually comes up with nothing. I don't know if this is a joke about support with doing taxes or if it's legitimately a broken link, but I found it funny either way. So an interesting quirk to the sidebar where you see this collector's edition shop now button is that there are a few other buttons here. The first one being titled X-rated patch, which of course you're going to click on. And what it does is it brings you to this Wattpad website and links you directly to this sort of fan fiction titled For All of Time and Taxes. The subject being, Iris is abducted by TurboTax, leaving her partner to plan a rescue and confront the fear of losing her forever. It was written by Panama Paperboy, which I assume is a reference to the real life Panama Papers. That's a whole other rabbit hole that if you are interested, you should dive into yourself. Uh, or don't, because it will most likely fill you with the most horrific existential dread of your life. Moving on. The first paragraph reads, Coming out of my stupor, my glazed over eyes make out the few objects on my kitchen table. Pencil, eraser, a half-filled cup of coffee, a vase of flowers, and of course, the notebook with tragically smiling stickers I take with me everywhere. I stretch and rub my eyes, unsure of the time. It's not like I have anywhere to be, since my part-time hours at the library have been falling off for a while now. I had fallen asleep on top of my scribbled notes as I stayed up in a panic studying the 2035 tax code to prepare for the upcoming season. I'm not going to read the entire fanfiction, but there are apparently a few lore tidbits that connect to the story that takes place in the actual game. So just know that this is out there and go ahead and read it for yourself. The second button on the sidebar brings you once again back to Wattpad, but this time just links you to a search results page for Tax Heaven 3000, and it turns out there are a few other stories as well. Filing Head Over Heels, and Iris Learns a Lesson. So yeah, these are three real stories that were really written by a real person, I hope. So if you feel like fleshing out your knowledge of the Tax Heaven 3000 universe, go ahead and go give those a read. The final sidebar link hilariously links to a DeviantArt.com search for Tax Heaven 3000, which, this being the modern internet, and also being DeviantArt, leads you to some, let's say, unsurprising examples of art. The less said about this website, the better. So that about does it for the entire Tax Heaven 3000 website. Side note, now that tax season has officially passed, when you go to the official website, it hits you with a pop-up reminding you that Tax Heaven 3000 was created only for the 2022 filing year. So don't even think about using Iris to prepare your taxes next year, you sick bastards. Of course, you can go down and look at some of their legal mumbo-jumbo, which, in the case of their terms of service, includes some hilarious sections such as, Who is Mischief? Who aren't we? You got me there. And then there's a whole bunch of other stuff about how you won't hold mischief legally responsible for fucking up your own taxes by using fucking waifu tax software to prepare it. Makes sense to me. Outrage was levied against mischief and poor sweet Iris in the most sacred of the internet's halls. Reddit and the Steam Community Forums. Don't hurt them! Talking to. As it turns out, the game doesn't actually connect to the internet at all, and all it really does is help prepare a printable version of a tax return that you can physically mail to the IRS. It doesn't send your information anywhere, and it doesn't file your taxes on your behalf. Regardless, the game was quietly pulled from Steam on March 22nd before it could even release. Despite having gone through Valve's verification process to be listed in the first place, the Steam page was quickly updated by the developers before it was completely delisted. The update states, Update! Steam is deplatforming Tax Heaven 3000. Direct download via TaxHeaven3000.com on April 4th. Maybe TurboTax sent a check. We don't know. Following this removal, internet media was, once again, all over the story, though there was not much story to tell. Mischief co-founder and one of the people behind the game, Daniel Greenberg, is on the record as saying that there's really nothing malicious at all about Tax Heaven 3000. 
In a quote he gave to Inverse.com, Greenberg says, Out of nowhere, it was de-verified and removed from the platform without explanation earlier today. That's all we know. The release will continue as planned on April 4th, either on itch.io or as a direct download. He goes on to confirm that the game doesn't connect to the internet, and even says that it is, quote, probably safer than most big box tax software. In the time since this interview, these comments, and the release of the game itself, it seems that largely people have calmed down about the game, appreciating it for exactly what it is. Some publications erroneously reported that Tax Heaven 3000 was put back on Steam, but as of this recording, it's still absent. Nonetheless, the game was still set to release as a free download from the official website and itch.io. And release it did. All right, now that we're all up to speed, I think it's time to get my filthy hands up in this box. Before I crack it open, obviously I just want to show you some of the logos that are sitting around. There's the main Tax Heaven 3000 logo uh, on the top there. And on the front, love and taxes forever in my heart. And on another side here, you'll see the sort of riff on the TurboTax logo. Okay, it's time to free Iris from her corporate shackles. Alright, let's see what we got here. I feel like I'm giving birth to a real child. Alright, so on the very top here, we have the tag software itself. Oh, that is beautiful. Look at that. Obviously, only for the 2022 filing year. And what is this? I guess it includes an envelope for if you actually want to send your taxes in to the IRS via this game's preparation. Um, cool. For those of you who have never used it before or maybe even aren't old enough to remember, uh, a lot of tax software used to come on CDs per filing year in boxes just like this. Uh, H&R Block, TurboTax, all the other ones. Uh, you used to have to actually purchase the physical software to run on your computer and it would come on a CD and come with instructions and all that type of stuff. So this is a real throwback, to be honest. Alright, so we're going to lift off this section right here. And there she is. Of, co of course they start with the feet. Boy, they sure know their audience, huh? I guess I'm their audience. I'm going to move this big old box aside. Don't worry, baby. I'm coming. I can feel her swelling with air, or perhaps love, but probably air. There she is, there's my beautiful goddess right there. Once you simply move her feet out of the way, you get to see that beautiful iris face. Oh God, this is very large. This this very large. Wow, this, this one's this really big. Really, really big. All right, since she's still vacuum sealed like delicious honey smoked salmon, uh, we have to open her even more to get a proper look at her. Oh my god! Oh. oh my god! Wow! Wow, she's actually she is actually super soft. Uh, it doesn't look like this is the type of. Okay, so there is a zipper on this case for when you need to uh, wash her, but otherwise, it's a very very soft case. All right, this is pretty. <laughs> this is actually a pretty tall pillow. I'm six foot one. If that helps. So yeah, this is taller than my other body pillow. I have two body pillows now. Although this is the first one that I've purchased. I'm sure my ancestors are looking down upon me with smiles on their faces. So as you can see, business in the front, party in the back. Oh no, her jacket's slipping off her shoulder. What's she gonna do? Oh no. Okay, so let's let's go ahead and get a stronger look at the tax software itself. Again, here's that envelope they send to you in case you want to mail in your real prepared taxes. 
Uh, I'm not sure why it was packed underneath the box. It will obviously fit inside it, but whatever. So anyway, up top here, we have the TurboTax logo. 2022 filing year only. Covers Form 1040, U.S. Individual Income Tax Return. Ideal for filers with simple W-2 incomes. Uh, and it does really come on an actual CD, although down here it says install CD or download, which I assume is an allusion to the fact that the game is still a free download. Uh, this is tax, this is dating sim tax preparation. And of course we have Iris there. Uh, I can't quite make out what form she has. Oh, maybe I can. Looks like a standard form 1040. Product of mischief, mischief.com. Software is compatible with both Windows and Apple software. And up top here, we actually have a logo that I haven't seen yet in relation to Tax Heaven 3000. Uh, a riff on AOL Online, uh, but this time it is Mischief Online, naturally. All right, let's take a look at the back of the box here. Tax Heaven 3000, player meets girl, girl does your taxes. It's getting close to April 18th and love is in the air. Are you a single filer this year? Every day is an opportunity to stroll about town and maybe bump into a special cutie who happens to be very interested in the particulars of your 2022 tax situation. Upload your W-2 and find love, too. Build your relationship as you build a real-life federal income tax return that can be printed and filed with the IRS. Suitable for singles without dependents, naturally. So here's that 1040 she was using, and here's some screenshots from the game. These are screenshots that are available on the website, but I don't know if these blurbs are different. Meet Iris, she's a cheerful, assertive girl, and she's filing singly this year. Every day does a chance to learn more about each other. Deductions make the heart beat faster. Love makes labor light. Upload your W-2 in one easy step. Okay, so on the top of the box here, yeah, it does specify that there are two different ways to install. Let's take a look at what's inside the box. So right away, when you pop open the top of the box, you have this sort of reflective foil version of the Mischief Online logo, which is a nice touch, and a nice smooth pink box here. All right, and here is the proper Tax Heaven 3000 box. Once again, you have that sort of reflective rainbow foil, which is a really nice touch. And some of the usual stuff, the TurboTax logo, 2022 filing year, how to install, and right here on the side, because obviously you're putting this on your bookshelf, the Tax Heaven 3000 logo. Once again, on the very back of the box, product of mischief. All right, let's crack it open. All right. Little more color on the inside. Uh, the proper fully colored Tax Heaven 3000 uh, logo. And then here is the jewel case with the actual CD-ROM in it. And then once again, there's your blurbs and screenshots, which is the same as on the back of the uh, outer shell. This box feels awfully heavy, although I think the CD-ROM is the only thing in it. So I took the plastic off the CD-ROM, uh, just in case the collector's edition of this game, aka the physical CD-ROM version, has any differences whatsoever compared to the free download version of the game, I want to play this version instead. All right, it's finally time to get into the gameplay. And you know what that means. Spoilers ahead for one route of Tax Heaven 3000. You have been warned. However, this is a free downloadable game with multiple endings, so I strongly encourage you go experience it for yourself. If you do elect to stop watching here, I just wanted to say, thanks for watching. Stay crisp, and I'll see you next time. But if you're staying to watch some of the gameplay, let's go ahead and dive in. Okay, and this right here is Tax Heaven 3000. Uh, I'm in the way a little bit, but there is the TurboTax Mischief logo right up here. Uh, over on the right corner, the right upper corner, you'll see Terms and Conditions and Support, which we looked at on their website already. Uh, let's go ahead and get started, I guess. So I do have my actual tax information uh, for 2022, uh, and I'm going to use it because I want to see if this game can properly file my taxes uh, correctly. So I'm going to give it everything that it wants me to give it. Uh, oh well. 
Okay. Phew, there we go. I've officially moved in. Moving sure ob obliterates your ability to think about anything else. My mind is drained. After hauling chairs into a new, new apartment, my body isn't feeling much better. Chairs? Chairs? Chairs plural? I don't know, I don't know about that. I don't know about chairs plural. Uh-oh, uh watch out. Oof. There she is. There she is. It's our girl. It's our girl, dude. There she is. Haha, <laughs> my name's Iris. What's yours? I'm Thomas. I just moved here. <laughs> oh, really? So, Thomas, you're a U.S. resident? I like this already. I like this already. Ah, yes. The only background scene they made for this game. Perfect. Ah. <sighs> I needed a good rest after unpacking all day yesterday. What now? Told Iris I'd meet her for coffee. Better get going. Hey Thomas, over here! Iris is waving at me enthusiastically from the corner table. I recognize her little notebook on the table. She really must take it everywhere. I got here a little early. I'm glad you came. It's so exciting to meet a new person in a new place, don't you think? Especially when you're single. Um, well actually Thomas, are you filing singly or jointly on your 2022 federal tax return? Is she trying to ask whether I'm single or not? It's a weird way to do it, but I guess I'm not in a position to judge the first person I've met in a new town. Uh, I'm filing singly, I guess. I'm married and filing jointly. Filing as a qualified surviving spouse. Single, but filing as head of household. Uh, I'm filing singly, I guess. Oh, that's great. You're a single filer. And, um, you're not married, are you? Uh, so you can go back. Married, filing separately. Nope, I'm not married. Yay! Um, I'm single too, you know. I could give you a hand with your taxes if you want, Thomas. Oh, uh, I mean, only if you want to. You know, we could compare notes as we go. Iris seems a bit flustered by her own sudden rush of enthusiasm. What if we... Got to know each other's financial situation a little better, Thomas. For tw <laughs> Library, huh? Uh, not necessarily the first place I'd go to hang out. Hang on, though. I guess that's an invitation to see each other again? In that case, bury me in books, baby! You don't let your finances get too digital, do you, Thomas? Did you sell, trade, gift, or receive any cryptocurrency in 2022? I guess I don't mind too much if you just own some, though. Uh, no, I, I did not do any of that. Oh, you seem pretty savvy, Thomas. So I'm glad you aren't taken in by a pyramid scheme like that. <laughs> Thomas, it's really nice to talk with you. I have a good feeling about the two of us. Hey, will you give me your phone number? Uh, now, the right thing to do here is ask why. Guess I'm putting in my real phone number. Do I want to peek at the notebook? No, because that's the real right thing to do. But... Maybe just a little peek? Uh, no, I'm a good boy. What if I'm interested in starting my own diary someday? Wouldn't it be useful to know what a well-organized one looks like? <laughs> Stop kidding yourself, you have to look. Alright, fine. Just a quick look is all. What's the harm? Uh, wow, this is a shockingly literal transcription of Iris' day-to-day -day activities in exhaustive detail. Today when I woke up, I had orange juice and an English muffin with raspberry jam. I've never had raspberry jam before, and I liked it much more than grape jelly, but not as much as orange marmalade. I reread yesterday's diary entry to confirm I remembered everything accurately. I ran out of patterned tape, so at 10.36 a.m. I left to go to the store. While walking on the sidewalk, I passed two inhab inhabitants of the town. Inhabitants? I purchased three rolls of tape for a total $7.65. One strawberry patterned, one dotted, and one floral. While exiting the store, I walked headlong into someone standing outside. That's me. I can see notes where she's gone back and annotated past events with updates and cross-references. Oh, Jesus Christ. This all makes me nervous, of course. Having more to care about means having more to lose if TT should ever find out. Who the fuck is TT? It's, it's TurboTax. It's TurboTax. 
Does that mean she's going to lose our tax business if we start using TurboTax again? Now, personally, I'm an H&R Block man, but I don't know. Maybe some of you out there use TurboTax. Uh-oh, the copy machine isn't working. Thomas, can you help me fix this? Dude, way to put me on the spot, Iris. Fixing a photocopier in front of a live, very attractive audience? There are few worse things I can imagine. Uh, okay, here we go, Thomas. This is no problem. You can troubleshoot a photocopier. Let's see what the printer interface is like. Print previous. I guess the last person who used this machine photocopied their butt. Anyway, better try to fix this thing. <laughs> it's not fucking expecting that. What the heck? Yeah, what the heck is this? Type of command? This appears to be a terminal access to the photocopier? What am I supposed to do? Hack the machine? So you can hack the machine, right? It should be pretty simple. Oh my god, I'm about to embarrass myself in front of Iris. I don't know what I'm doing. I can't just sit here. I've got to at least type something in here. I better just hit some keys on the keyboard. I've got to at least try. Okay, I guess... Uh, help? Help? Code set. So... Oh, it's... It's like that one code website where you just type a bunch of random keys and it starts spitting stuff out. I- Holy shit, I'm on fire! I can see the code! Keep it going. Keep it going, Thomas. I am the one! Iris, witness me! Alright, the first thing we'll need is a document to test with. I know, Thomas, let's- Come on. Let's use your W-2 form. So do you have more than one W-2 for 2022 or just one? Great. Grab it and slide it into the copier feed. I just... You think I carried around, Iris? Well, it's your lucky day because I do. Okay, got it. Great, grab the... F okay. It, it, just, it just actually wants it. All right. Great, we've got that W-2 copied. Let's make sure everything is clear. Come over here, Thomas, so we can look over these prints. It's okay, silly. You can stand closer than that. Iris leans up next to me. She's very close. I can't help but noticing that she smells nice. Hmm, that's better. Now, what is your total- what was your total taxable income in 2022? Okay, I'm gonna skip over all this stuff. I'll- I'll be back. But I am gonna use my real information. I have a confession to make, Thomas. You might be eligible for specific credits that I haven't learned about yet. We can keep seeing each other, but you have to understand that I might not know how to maximize your return. Oh man. Okay, so let's... Ah, shit. Okay, continue with suboptimal return, I guess. Thanks for coming with me today. I really don't like being in places like this, but with you, I feel a bit better. I wonder what bad memories Iris has that this mundane corporate uh, building is so off-putting. Have you worked in an office before? Did something happen? No, I didn't work in one. I, I spent a lot of time in one. Hey, promise me something. Don't use corporate tax software, okay? Huh? Uh, I guess I won't this year because Iris said she'd help me out. And those kinds of software do always try to nickel and dime you to death. They do. Date, uh, 204. Tax owed! Oh, boy. Can't help but look at what books have been requested. Synthetic Human Biology. Brainwashing from a Psychological Viewpoint. A History of the IRS. How to win friends and influence people. Um, this is a kind of unpleasant list of books. Looks like they've all been requested by the same guy. Oh. Oh, there he is. It's Turbo. Hey, you there. Do you work here? What the heck is this? He's got all the hallmarks of a predatory finance guy. Should I introduce myself? I'm getting a bad vibe from this guy. Nah. Because Iris doesn't want us to use corporate tech software. This guy's definitely a narc. And with a monitor, moniker like Turbo, I can imagine which organization he represents. So there's a resident creep who requests books about synthetic human biotechnology, is a Turbo tag zealot, and is definitely stalking Iris. Not sure what to make of that. I'm getting out of here before he comes back. And what do you do for a living, Thomas? What is your job? Iris leans in, peering at me intently. You've got a very nice face, Thomas. I can look at you for hours. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. How's your vision? All right. 
I heard someone say eyes are windows to the soul, so I've been trying to see if it's true. I like looking at you, and feeling like I'm memorizing you. Do you also like that feeling, Thomas? I think it's okay to get personal. I know, how about we each tell each other a secret? Okay, you go first. Thomas, what is your social security number? <laughs> there it is. What? Uh, hang on, Iris. You need to tell me a secret, too. Hmm, a secret. Iris suddenly stares directly at me. No, more like through me. Her demeanor has changed completely. She looks haunted. Don't ever get involved with TurboTax, Thomas. They're dangerous. As quick as it came, the moment is gone. Hi, Iris. Looks like I was able to catch you this time. Oh, hello, Thomas. Yes, I've been waiting for you. I, I said I wanted to do something for you as thanks for keeping me company the other day. Well... Iris glances around and leans in. We're secluded behind bookshelves. It's very warm in the library. Why don't we see if you qualify for any tax credits? Alright. I think intellectual compatibility is really important in a relationship... Um, I mean, friendship. Sometimes when I get nervous, I just default to things that are familiar. Iris takes a deep breath. I get the feeling she didn't... She hadn't quite planned out what to say next. Why don't we meet in my room next time? Oh. Oh. -ho. You got it. Oh, she's like all hard eyes and drooly now. Oh, you guys can't see it. Look at her little chibi icon. All drooling and stuff. There we go. Thomas, there's something I need to tell you. I... It's kind of embarrassing to say it out loud, but... I've put together your whole tax return! <laughs> I don't know if you realize it, but I wanted to do something for you, and taxes are one of the only things I feel confident about, so... I hope you don't think it's weird, but maybe we could... go over your federal filing together and review it before you send it to the IRS? <laughs> I didn't expect you to notice, but it just so happens that taxes are a bit of a specialty of mine. I didn't! I had, I had no idea! This is brand new information, dude. Okay, let's set up a direct deposit for your return, Thomas. It's the fastest and easiest way to get that money. Uh, checking. Yeah, for sure. Okay, what's your account number? Oh my god. Alright, y'all are asking a lot of me on this one. Y'all are asking a lot of me. Alright. Maybe we'll share a bank account one day. How about the routing number? Oh god. I've noted that all down in my little book, Thomas. I'll always cherish these pages that I've had with you. Let's look over these final few pages. Are you ready to go all the way? Uh, download tags. Are you nervous, Thomas? It's okay. This is my first time. <laughs> Come on, dude. Completing a tax return with someone, too. Don't worry. We'll do it together at whatever pace you're comfortable with. Ready? This may take a second. It's a lot of pages after all. Oh. Oh. Oh, she's... <laughs> Her hand's on my hand. That's so nice. Uh, let's go ahead and download. Thomas, I guess now your taxes are all done, but... I still want to see you again. Somehow I'm happier than I have been in a long time. I'm in love with you, Thomas. There it is. She's in love with me. I knew it. I knew it. Iris, I feel the same way. Iris, I won't pretend that I totally understand your history. But what I do understand is that it doesn't matter. Not here, not right now. If loving you means rejecting a tax software monopoly and being hunted by its agents, then I welcome it. Well, we did it. We did it, everybody. There she is. There she is. She right there. Or she right. She right there. Oh, there she goes. Hey, it's it's Clippy, kind of. Oh man, uwu uwu says anime Clippy. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. So that was Tax 7 3000, everybody. Can you believe it? Can you believe we actually did it? And uh, it puts me back at the menu. Okay, so that was awesome. <clears throat> um, obviously, I'm not actually going to file my tax return. <laughs> uh, I've already done my taxes. Um, but yeah, that was a really, really short uh, experience. Maybe an hour or two. Um... But that was charming. There's obviously a lot of stuff that they probably couldn't include. For example, all the stuff they warn you about, about it being best for uh, single filers. 
not really having access to certain types of deductions and things like that. But, for what it's worth, uh, and if you had not done your taxes by the time this came out, um, and you had simple income and nothing really special to report, I feel like this would have worked, honestly. Um, super cute game. Iris is a super cute character. Hopefully they follow it up next year. Uh, with another entry, because I kind of want to see, I kind of want to see more of them, weirdly. Uh, it's stupid, but I do. Um, but yeah, I think that was a super enjoyable game. Uh, and that is everything you need to know about Tax Heaven 3000. Um, I appreciate you joining me on this little journey. And, uh, remember to do your taxes, guys. Anyway. Uh, come watch me stream live at twitch.tv slash kid. I will not be playing this for obvious reasons, but I play all sorts of other fun stuff all the time. Hopefully I'll see you there. You guys have a good one. Stay crisp, and I'll see you next time. Where's that fucking body pillow? Hey, it's me, Tommy. Thank you so much for watching my video. I put a lot of time and effort into this one, so it really means a lot that you were here. As I've mentioned, this game has multiple endings, and it's a free download, so I encourage you to go check it out yourself. Also, if you'd like to see the full, uncut playthrough of this route, featuring all the different secrets and characters that I didn't show in today's highlights, go ahead and check the link in the description for that full video. If you like what you see, Come on over to twitch.tv slash somesoniccid and watch me stream. I'm live every Tuesday evening, sometimes extra days. We have a small community, but we have a ton of fun, so I'd love to see you there. Thank you so much for watching, stay crisp, and I'll see you guys next time.